Hello, folks. I am back with a firearms product impression. Uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, we all know about the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that's been going on. And I've been trying to uh, do some more videos and so forth that I can. But unfortunately, ranges in my state or uh, Pennsylvania is, are closed or we're limited access uh, to purchase firearms. We're limited access to pretty much do anything uh, firearms related, such as buy ammo and so forth. And it's all done by appointment only. So you would have to call the firearm store uh, to get, let's say, a place in line. And then they would contact you when to come in. But some of the products I wanted to do, like this particular uh, firearm here, I added a product to it. And before the uh, situation started, I had it in, in the store. So the uh, gunsmith can work on it and I finally got it back today and it is as you see it is on the Geisley Automatics uh, super dynamic three gun trigger uh, this is uh, a trigger that I never really got to use yet but I have used this particular trigger on a rental rifle and that is one of the reasons why I got this trigger in because I like the this trigger from the uh, rental that I had. Uh, just for a little bit of uh, specs on here, uh, it's, uh, it is made for AR-15s and A-10 platforms. I mentioned that it was a single stage trigger. It does come with two springs. Uh, the two springs uh, are going to be uh, a 4.5 four pound, which is already in the firearm, and a 3.5 pound trigger spring that's right here. All this is from the stock uh, Daniel Defense DDM4 V7P. So this is the other, this is the lighter spring up type top here. Uh, what you see behind there is the lubricant that they give you uh, for maintenance and so forth. Uh, I, I, I really would like to have test this out and unfortunately I'm unable. So I'm just going to give you, let you see what um what I can on here. Uh this firearm is unloaded. Uh I've already set it up so I can show you a trigger pull. So it's on safe right now. I took I'm gonna take it off safe. Now I want you to see how short this trigger is. And I'm gonna pull here. That's it. Now I'm gonna take it off camera and charge it because I want you to see how short the reset is. And move my thumb out the way. That's how short the reset is. And again, for the pull, that's it. I'll show you that reset again. And the reset, very short. And as you see right there, I kind of double clicked it because when you have this particular type of trigger, you cannot really ride this trigger back and forth because what's going to happen is you're going to probably make another uh, discharge. But in any event, this is a very good trigger. I can't show you, like I said, on this particular uh, situation that I'm in because I'm in cramped qu uh, quarters. I would hopefully in the future get to... A range and we'll be able to shoot this and let you see how fast you can shoot this trigger and you can really get some speed up with this trigger and that's because it is what they call a competition trigger they do have a what they call a combat trigger it's um, on Geisley's website I believe it is four and a half to five pounds but it makes the shooting experience a uh, a little better for people who want to do that type of shooting. One thing uh, in the manual here, this is a brief manual, it does explain, I don't know if I can zoom in, it does explain the weight, it does explain the safety issues that you're going to have to adhere to because it is a lighter trigger. Uh, some people might like to bump shoot this, they caution you about bump shooting uh, with this particular uh trigger uh also in in the manual which is really um interesting well for me anyway because i'm not in the triggers that well uh 
you'll see all the different uh, lubrication points where you can uh, do your upkeep and maintenance on this on this trigger. Uh, it is like I said, I fired this trick this style trigger before, and it's a really good trigger. I just can't tell you what it's like on this particular firearm. I suggest that you go to other YouTubers who have a lot more experience with this trigger than I do and who can also explain the trigger system of the a AR-15 platform. I, I'm more of a shooter, not more of the technical person when it comes to these uh, type of triggers. Um, and last but not least, I want to give a shout out to 32 Icon. Uh, her name is Liv, but she goes under the name 32 Icon. Uh, I, she uh, had a, uh, a, a relationship with Optics Planet, and I used her uh, code 32 Icon, and that's how I was able to purchase this, um, this Geisley trigger at a fairly decent discount. So with that said, I'm looking forward to maybe in the future getting out a um, better uh, video of, of me shooting this because I wanted to really do a lot of things with my, my videos. So with that said, happy shooting. Please stay safe. Hashtag 2A.